Well, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a new vlog. Uh, I'm here with Elijah. We're here at what's it called? Madam Khaif Car Free Day or Carless, something like that. We're just gonna walk around. Then we're gonna grab a bite to eat and maybe get some dessert a little later. So uh, join us on this adventure. There's like a bunch of like stands, got a bunch of vendors selling, I guess, locally made products, a bunch of just random stuff. So we're gonna walk around, take a look, see what's going on. It's pretty hot, so we've decided to remain in the shade until we get to where we're trying to go, meet up the people we're trying to find in our friend Danny. And he's a patron as well. Support us on Patreon. Help us do more vlogs like this. All right guys, it is a scorching day, much like when we went out to Dream Park. Uh, it is very, very, very hot. To be expected in Lebanon, you know it's a hot June day, so we are sitting here at Das Kuch. I don't know how you say it, okay, Das Kuche, Das Kuch. Someone told me it's Dai Kuche, right? It's German, okay? We're here to get some sausages, all right? Some good imported sausages. Uh, I'm excited, we're sitting in the shade, so that's that's a, that's a nice thing for now. We're gonna get some cool drinks, so yeah. My mom tells me like, she's like, Elijah, the way they get with the mom, she's the young, younger generation. The way that I on this way, even my mom says, Ada is sure. We can't get, there's very loud techno music here. There, I have to have one big complaint about this restaurant. I love the food here, I love the sausages. I really, the, the music is always very loud, it's always like techno music. It doesn't fit, and it's very annoying, especially for vlogs, so yeah. So, this is the superior way of enjoying your Pepsi or your, you know, soda. This is. But the delivery of soda, there's less in your way. There's more bumps and shit. With this one, it's direct from the glass bottle. It slides right into your mouth and throat, giving you the ultimate Pepsi enjoyment. I got the pulled pork potato. Mandai Pepsi. Mish it says. No, mish it says. I'm not happy to be a mama. Right, so that's a spicy Kazakhina. Beautiful imported sausage. You got a little salad on the side. You got your fries. You got your Dijon mustard. Perfect for me. This is, I've only ever ordered this. Every time I come here, I get the same exact thing. I love this this dish, so um, it's a pretty safe bet for me. So he has a regular one, mine is a spicy one, it's stuffed with emaltad cheese and jalapenos actually. So there's nothing on top of the, of the sausage, but like everything is stuffed inside. The cheese and the jalapenos, it's really good. Dig in. All right. So here's here's how you eat a spicy cut of the folks. You grab your sausage, grab your Dijon, stick it in, and put it in your mouth. Mmm. And the jalapenos in there, that cheese. Mmm. The fries are really good too. They're very well seasoned. I really enjoy the fries. And like Dijon is one of my favorite dipping sauces ever. So this is a pretty good meal. And the salad is kick ass. Oh shit, that's good. So he's on a diet. So. He's on a diet. I ain't eating bread. I love this. I love the food. Uh, while we're waiting for our bill, let's take a second to thank some of our lovely patrons, folks. We have amazing uh, blonde patrons like Rudolf, Michel Tawil, Enzo, Daniel Habib, Tufik Paki, Jad Al Haj, Darkwing Duck, and some awesome superhero patrons like Joe Ran, Hamad Haytham, uh, Joey Daboul, Eli Tawil, and uh, Jad Termansi, Nadine Najla. Thank you guys so much. We couldn't do this without you. So, in terms of um, pricing, these, the, the, the sausages with the fries and the salad, these are 217 thou. Uh, the uh, potato, pulled pork potato, that was 230 thou, which I think, look, on the surface, it is definitely expensive. Not everyone can afford this stuff anymore because of the, the rate. As we're filming this, the dollar rate is 28 thou per dollar. 
But in terms of value, you get a lot for your money, and you get good quality, like the sausage, the, 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 the french fries, which are really good, the salad. It's a lot of value for your money, and it's high quality food, so I definitely don't feel ripped off or cheated or anything. I feel like it's, you get what you pay for. You get quality, and you get really good flavor. Um, is this affordable for everyone? Absolutely not. But in terms of uh, what you get and what you pay for, I think it's very good. The drinks, these are like 16 thou. Another reason this is, is better than plastic. This was 16 thou, while the plastic one was like 43 thou or something. So. A little bit less, but it's it's more enjoyable. You can get two for less. Little bit, little bit, then which I'm gonna do. Uh, sorry. Fifth of all, two Pepsi is I'm on my own. There we go. We got an extra Pepsi. So uh, do that. Pro tip, next time you come to Das Cooch, get yourself a Ziz. Save a little bit of money. Get yourself two Pepsis for the price of one. Chicken Vess or Hicken Vess. Hicken Vess. Hicken Vess. Presented by, by Dr. By Dr. Mm -hmm. Food. The one and only. I've never seen Nuo this happy. Best a shoe for Shion. Best a shoe for. Are you excited to try Hicken Vess? Yeah. Uh, graphic designer, Taba Hai, Yahkina. Yo, yo, Sabu. Yo, Anthony. Taba Hai. Hey, we're running it. Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, so we were just about to go into Candy Fornia Cafe. It's like a little pink. Barbie-like cafe here in Madam Khayyid, but we decided to cut the day short because we went in, they didn't have most of the items that we wanted to try. Food-wise, they had like this rainbow cake that they didn't have, so we figured maybe we'll come another time, so we're gonna go back home for today, and then we're gonna continue this vlog another day. All right, folks, we mentioned that we wanted to get some dessert, and that we weren't able to go to the place we wanted to last time, so we are here at Kauai. Uh, it's like a Japanese cafe here in Mono, so we're pretty excited. Uh, we're gonna try their Japanese cheesecake. I've never tried Japanese cheesecake before, so uh, it looks so cute. By the way. Yeah, yeah it it's amazing. it's pretty adorable, I must say. So uh, let's get in there and check it out. <laughs> this is a family show. This is a family vlog. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I've never tried Japanese cheesecake before. This is my first ever time. So I, th I guess the difference between this and regular cheesecake is that this is fluffier. It's cooked more fully. So I guess it's more of a cake rather than like a cream or like a, I don't know guys. I love cheesecake, regular cheesecake. Let's try this. Mm. Good. This is delicious. Mm. I love this. This is a lotus. So it's drizzled with a bunch of like lotus syrup, a little bit of whipped cream, some strawberries, a little bit of powdered sugar. It's extremely sweet. It is very decadent, but it is delicious. I love it. Very sweet. Mm. This is good. Holy shit. Like, look at this color. Mm. You can obviously see the color. <laughs> very cool spot. For those of you wondering, kawaii is like a Japanese word for cute or just very cute. Anything that's very cute, you refer to it as kawaii. Mine is the cutest, Tanja. It is. Anna, cool. mine is white chocolate. It 
it's very nice. It's very nice. But uh, it's too sweet for my liking, yeah. No? Masyam, like I would eat this one in Michigan. So the strawberry one. Mm. Yeah, that's what I know. It's very good. This is less sweet. Yours is less sweet. And I like the strawberry syrup on top. This one's bomb, yo. Mine is the best. Yours is. The, I'm gonna try. It. I'm gonna try. It. I, I'm not a fan of the white chocolate normally. No, you have to try this. Sorry, I'm making a little mess. If the vacuum tastes sweet, this is like the perfect balance. Let me film you. Try yours this. is like the less sweet version of mine. It's mine. Oh, yours is sweeter. Mm -hmm. Mine is sweeter. Mine, but I think mine has the best flavor out of all three. The lotus one. Because the lotus gives it a, a lot of extra punch. Try try both. I know, it freaks me out about the strawberry one. It's just, just so red. All I can think about is the food coloring. Mm. Has the best flavor. Yeah, this one. Go for the, in my opinion. Best, um, sorry. Go for the lotus, cheesecake lotus. This one's bomb. Very sweet though, so you could easily share this with someone, I feel. Yeah, but the strawberry one, it's like the freshest, mm. It is the lightest one, yeah. This one is a, a, it's a super, it's kind of heavy, kind of decadent. Because like the lotus or the white chocolate are very dense. Yeah, but they're, they're very delicious, very tasty. In terms of pricing, um, they're 80 thou a pop for the cake. And if you want to add a topping, it's an extra 20 thou, so it'll be 100 thou total. Which, I mean, again, it's, it's hard to judge anything like price-wise in Lebanon because of the situation, you know what I mean? If you if you convert it into dollars, which at today's rate is 28 thou, the price is pretty fair for the quality that you're getting and everything. Um, I think the pricing is fair, but again, it goes without saying that there's a huge portion of the population that is just priced out of eating here, but that is gonna be the case for almost everywhere we go at this point. So that's it in terms of prices and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so for how cute the place is, it's nice, so like kind of unknown on social media. I expected and the price is ikunu agla, but like surprisingly, it's priced like metal hayala mahal. Like if you were to go on hayala, like patisri or anything, like a piece of cake is like much aal min a hundred thou. So yeah, it's adorable. I would totally come here with a date. Oh, Comments gonna go crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much. For, we had a what's up? <laughs> we, we had an eventful day, folks. An eventful couple of days. We went. We walked around Madame Khair. We got some sausages. We got some delicious Japanese dessert. All right, and it's time to call it a day. So make sure you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, become a Do Not Warrior, check us out on the podcast, which comes out every week. Support us on Patreon so we could do more vlogs like this. And uh, we love you guys. See you next time.